off. And uh, now I think I'm rejuvenated and I'm ready to get back in the gym and train hard and uh, hopefully fight one of the top fighters. I don't, I don't want a tune-up fight. I only want to fight Pacquiao or if Garcia win the fight, I want to fight Danny Garcia. I was supposed to fight him in January, but, you know, I had my accident. So, um, you know, that's the guy that I'm looking to fight. Again, we're looking at the PBC welterweight landscape here. Errol Spence is the welterweight champion. He's got the WBC and the IBF belts. Pacquiao, Keith Thurman losing to Pacquiao. Danny Garcia looming. Sean Porter, who knows, maybe we see that again. I should mention Bud Crawford is also a titleist at welterweight. Any thoughts on any of these guys or Bud Crawford? Because, again, you're acknowledged as the top guy at welterweight. Who do you want to fight? What do you want to do? Like I said, I'm the top dog in the division. I am the king of the welterweight division. And like I said, I know them guys wish that I wasn't back so fast, but I am back. And I want to fight the top names in the division. Whether it's Manny Pacquiao, whether it's Terrence Crawford, or whether it's Danny Garcia, I do want the top names, and I do want to be the undisputed welterweight champion of the world. Fighting everybody then? Definitely, definitely. Right. You think you'll be back in May? I'll definitely be back in the summertime. Uh, summertime, did you say, or May, or the spring, or summer? When do you think? Uh, summer or spring. I definitely be back. I definitely be back next year. Any restrictions on sparring or anything like that, or any physical restrictions when you get back in the gym? Uh, no restrictions at all. I've been cleared. I've been cleared. They did all type of scans on me and stuff, and you know they they think it's a miracle. So I mean, I can't explain it. All I gotta do is just thank God, and you know that I'm here. That I've been able to hear it and touch my kids and kiss them. And I'm here with my mother and my father, and uh, you know I can get the fans what they've been wanting. They've been wanting me to come back, girl, the true Spence. And I'm definitely gonna put on the great show when I do come back. And uh, you know the second time around, I'm not gonna take anything for granted. Right. Yeah. All right. So those are the words from Errol Spence. Okay. He's been cleared, mentally cleared. Everything in that video is coming out his mouth. Okay. Out his mouth, not the fans' mouth. I'm not trying to hear what the fans saying. I'm not gonna try to hear that he's not ready because of the accident. Because, like I said, even after that interview, he been proving, he been proving himself time and time again. Exercising in the club, showing his abs off, um, doing the ninja step in the club, bending his back, okay, um, sparring, okay, uh, um. Hitting the heavy bag, hitting the mitts. Okay, he's showing all this in the future now. All right, so y'all need to kill the noise with the accident, yo. Seriously, you gotta kill it because it, it's done, yo. It's done. All right, so I'm going by what this man is saying, not what the fans' opinion is. Not the fans' opinion. I'm going by what he said. He don't want no tune up. He wants Danny. He wants Pat. He wants Bud. That's it. Can't y'all understand that? Stop making excuses for the man. Okay? And let's go further down the line. Okay? Because besides the Twitter war with Bud and Spence going back and forth and two and two cents out of Manny Pacquiao coming saying, you know, I, I want to fight both y'all. And the only person that responded was who? In that Twitter war? Bud Crawford saying, yes, sir. And then all of a sudden Spence on the same side of the street of Manny Pacquiao. It was hush hush. So besides that, let's move on now because we see an interview of Spence, right? Interview of Spence at the Wilder fight. Yeah, at Tyson Fury too. Rematch. All right. So let's listen to what he had to say. Earl, with this, with this, with, with this dual publication fight, Earl, do you think that this makes it easier for things coming up here in the future? As far as uh, number one, Terrence Crawford versus yourself, uh, is this a drain, unclogging type of fight for you guys? Uh, we'll see what happens. I mean, we'll see what happens. Thank you, man. If the money's right, it'll happen. If the money's right, it'll happen. Uh, earlier, I talked to your coach in regards to uh, a potential showdown with uh, Terrence Crawford and uh, and Kell Brook. What do you think about a fight like that? Uh, Kell Brook done. So I mean, sorry, 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 sorry. You think Kell Brook is done? All right. So sometimes. It's what you hear that gives you proof, but sometimes it's not what you hear or the actions that give you proof too. So, what did um, Bud Crawford said at the Tyson Fury fight? Two rematch. He said, "If the money is right, 
He'll fight Bud Crawford. Now, this is not what the fans say again, okay? The fans is going to um, regurgitate it in another way and make you think it another way. I am not trying to do anything. I'm not trying to edit and, 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 and not put... Go back and watch those fucking videos yourself, okay? The man said out his mouth again, if the money's right, and this is recent, if the money's right, I will fight Bud Crawford. Well, my friend, if the money's right with Pacquiao, money is right with Pacquiao. So what happened? So what happened with Manny Pacquiao? Oh, so you're going to say Manny pa See, this is what the fans are going to do. See, they they, they, they skip, to the, skip to the loop, okay? They're going to skip a lot of fucking in-between shit that's going on and say, well, Manny ducked him and fought Keith Thurman, right? That's that's that that's their thing, right? Okay, but I see I see a consistency with Manny Pacquiao. Okay, Manny Pacquiao fought Brona, then he fought Keith for the belt. This year he's fighting Mikey, and then he's gonna fight Bud Crawford or L. Spence for the belt. Okay, now you say um, Manny Pacquiao duck Spence and did not fight him next. And he decided to fight Keith Thurman. Okay. Let's call it a duck then. Let's call it a duck. Okay. And Spence went and fought on Porter. And he got two belts. And Manny Pack went out and still fought a champion, Keith. And got one belt. Okay. Now, fast forward. Is anybody going to hold Spence accountable for his words? Okay. Just like you want to count hold Manny Pacquiao accountable for his words when he said, yes, I will fight you next, but he didn't say when. He said, I will fight you next. You'll be my next fight. But guess what? Um, if This is what I don't understand. If the money's right, why are you not fighting Manny Pacquiao next? Now, after the Twitter war, right, we explain that. Manny Pacquiao said, I want both fighters. And then what did the fans say? Oh, Manny, Manny Pacquiao smelled blood in the water. The only reason why he wants that fight now is because Spence been in an accident. That's proof that, that's proof, you, you saying those things is proof that Manny Pacquiao do want the, 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 the fight with Spence. That's fast forward now, okay? So now you already told me that Manny Pacquiao wants to fight with Errol Spence. So well, why is it not happening now? Why all of a sudden I'm hearing other news about him fighting Mikey Garcia and then he might fight Crawford. But he's still consistent. Manny Pacquiao is still consistent because he still want to unify with somebody. Right? Okay, let, let's move on a little bit to the next clip and I'll get back to this, okay? Pacquiao's obviously getting on. Uh, he's done big things in the sport. Eight-weight world champion. Um, in terms of timing, timing is very important in boxing. Is it the time now for Errol Spence to fight Pacquiao? Well, I think you should. Ask, you can ask the same question the other way around also. Is it the best time for Pacquiao to fight Errol Spence coming off an accident? I think that, you know, we wish he was a little younger, but then, I mean, he's looked phenomenal against Keith Thurman, so we won't even bring the age into play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But this timing, like you said, could it be a bet right time for him to be fighting Errol Spence? Coming off the accident. So it's a question both sides. Age and, age and accident. Who knows? We'll see. Um, in the, the MGM, I've seen uh, Terence Crawford and the fans all over the world. Um, they're dying for that fight. Um, Errol Smith Jr. versus um, Terence Crawford. Um, one day, that's on my, that's on my wish list. When are we, are we ever going to see that fight? Let me explain it to you because the difference is... So, see, Terrence Crawford and Errol Spence is a world fight, not a boxing fan fight. You don't make a fight. Because think about it. How many boxing, how, 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 how does, how does his numbers do with Amir Khan? How does his numbers do with Amir Khan? Uh, well, Crawford against Amir Khan? 36 what is the What were the numbers? Very bad. And then the draw for that fight, who's the bigger draw? Tell you who's the bigger draw? Amir Khan was. So, as I stated before, he got to get his weight up. This is a world fight, not a boxing fan fight. So he has to get, it's going to take more, it's going to take some time to build. Are oh, they, they going to take $10 for the fight? Or they can build it? Cause the Age and accident. 
This is what Derek James said. First, he said uh, he did phenomenal with Keith Thurman, so let's leave age out of it. Then he says um, age and accident. So what he's saying, is this the right time for Manny Pacquiao to fight Errol Spence? He said, turn that around and ask that question. No, you ask that question because we want to know if Errol Spence is ready for Manny Pacquiao. That's what we want to know. We don't, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, you see, okay? So now you see what I'm saying. He's saying that, is it right for Manny Pacquiao to fight Errol Spence at this time because after the accident, right? Or it's a lot of foolishness and rubbish. rubbish I, I don't want to hear, okay? Because uh, um, Derek James, like I said, in one of my videos way back, I said Derek James is the key to knowing the performance of Errol Spence. But everything's on hush-hush. Everything's on hush-hush. Everything is all quiet, right? Because it seems like every time Errol Spence opened his mouth, right, it, 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 things are not going right for him. And then when he opens his mouth, these fans want to act like he don't. they don't hear what he's saying and hold him ac accountable, right? So what's the next thing? Um, it's a world fight, not a boxing fan fight when it comes to Crawford. In other words, his numbers ain't up. He he needs to be more. You see, this is what I'm saying. So let me ask you a question. If Manny Pacquiao decides to fight Crawford, right? If Manny Pacquiao decides to fight Crawford, right? But well, we know Crawford numbers is not all that, right? Well, why Manny Crawford is fight? Why Manny Pacquiao going to fight Bud Crawford? To unify. This is what we all talking about. We've been we've been fucking dealing with this fucking back and forth shit in 2018, 2019. You got three champions. Let me. You got three champions, right? What are we talking about? It's not a boxing fan fight. It's a, a it's a world fight. So what you saying, Derek James? If 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 Bud Crawford is not on the level on world numbers, we are not going to see unified from you. You're not going to see unification. But if I see Pacquiao fight Mikey wins and then decide to fight Crawford. Can we just flip that and smash it in your face with that bullshit? Because guess what? Manny Pacquiao might not do good numbers with Crawford, but that's not the whole fucking attentions. The whole goddamn attention for Manny Pacquiao to unify and get another belt. Okay? And listen, I, I don't have anything against... Yo, let me tell you what I want from Manny Pacquiao. I want him to fight Errol Spence next, and I want him to fight Bud Crawford next. But... It seems like it's not gonna happen that way, okay? I would have got one out of two. That would have been fine. I was gonna, I was hoping that everything could work out on the side, on the same street was of, of, uh, of um, Errol Spence, cause they're on the same street. But it seems like what you're not hearing, something's going on, okay? That that fight ain't happened after Errol Spence said plenty of times he wanted Manny Pacquiao, okay? And then all of a sudden he's talking about Bud Crawford. It's all about the money, okay? So even if you get the money you want. And the numbers are not there. Uh, are you still going to fight Crawford? No. Okay, so I'm seeing the rubbish talk, okay? I'm seeing the rubbish talk. And I, I'm not liking it, yo. I'm not liking it at all. You know, I, I expect more from Derek Jennings and Errol Spence, man. They just come out and say that you're not ready because of accident. But if you're not saying that you're not ready because of the accident, then it's your pride. It's your pride. All you have to say, oh, we're not quite ready, you know, at sparring and we saw I seen a couple of things he gotta he gotta get that's being honest then I'll have to be on your back then you have other people be on your back just be honest you, why is it this is a pride thing with these people man okay you just got into an accident yes but if you open your mouth and you're talking on this side of the neck and then on this side of the neck you ain't saying shit but this side you say in the motion about yeah I don't want no tune up well you gonna get niggas like me talking shit about you it is what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. Because I know Manny Pacquiao ain't no ducker from his whole record. Okay? You the ducker. Okay? You ducking now. All you have to be is honest and say, I'm not ready. That's it. What's so wrong with that? Instead of just being on a hush hush and acting like, all right. So, let me, let's move on to what Derek, let's, let's move on. Next clip, please. <laughs> All right, Earl, line him up. Uh, line him up. Pacquiao, Canelo, Crawford, Canelo. In what order do you want him? Don't matter. Anybody can get it? 
No preference, but you'll fight anybody, anywhere, anytime. Any work. No matter. They just stay. Uh, uh, they pay, I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> if it makes dollars, then it makes sense. Yeah, yeah it is. All right, so in that clip, that's very recent, okay? He said, if they pay, I'm on the way. Again, he's opening his mouth. Talking about if it pay, he's on the way. Then guess what Derek James said in that clip? I ain't got nothing to do with that. What the fuck? You just had a lot to say the last clip about Bud Crawford numbers and shit. Y'all don't play with me, yo. Okay, don't. Don't play with me because I I, I, I'll could. i tell you, I'm not trying to turn twist things around. When, how am I going to turn twist things around when it's your your fighter and your trainer saying shit? Oh, and congratulations, Derek James, for getting, you know, um, trainer of the year. Congratulations. But I'm back on your ass again, okay? Um, uh, how do you gonna, uh, say, say one thing and then, and the other one, you're talking about his numbers, Bud Crawford numbers, and, you know, this is not a boxing fan fight, this is supposed to be a world fight, and the world's supposed to, you know, come on, man, come on, man, this is a unification shit, it's only three of y'all, man, it's only three of y'all, it's not four, it's three, no more Porter, okay, listen, Spence, I know you got Danny Garcia as your mandatory. Uh, if you fight him, fine. I know you got your IBF interim mandatory over there when those two Lipidus and Quadruple are dual fight and the winner of that. So you got two going on. Most likely you might fight Danny. Um, um, Manny Pacquiao most likely will fight Mikey since Mikey was successful with the Vargas fight. Um, Bud Crawford, I don't know what's going on with Bud Crawford. Um, he has nobody to fight, okay? So, you know, come on. So, if I see after, if, if, I put everything at if. If Manny Pacquiao beat uh, Mikey Garcia, um, and you hear Manny Pacquiao say, I'm heading for Bud Crawford for unification, then that's your answer, what I'll get in any answer with words. Actions is your answer before you get any action with words. Because if he had to go across the street to get a unification, because regardless, Manny Pacquiao gonna get his 20, 25 million with Mikey, with Bud, with Spence, he's still gonna get paid, okay? So when he goes on that side, okay, and and the person I do not like, Bob Arum, but like I said, I'm not using what his words are to to, to entitle me. To my proof of what I'm saying, I'm just saying this is what he stated, okay? Because like I said, I hate when 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 Barbara says something and all of a sudden his enemies use it to to to, to his to their advantage to make it sound like yeah their opinion was right, okay? I don't give two shits of what Bob Aaron says, okay? But I also know his actions also uh, his actions is when it benefits him, and the benefit of Crawford fighting Manny Pacquiao is numbers, okay? Because Manny Pacquiao is going to bring in numbers, okay? Even if Crawford is not going to bring in numbers the way you want it, see, Manny Pacquiao don't matter. That don't matter to him because you know what he's trying to do? He's trying to at least unify with one of these guys, okay? He's going to unify one of these guys. Like I said, I don't really care for the Mikey fight, but hey, that's, that's, that's money in Manny Pacquiao's pocket again, okay? He fought Chris Algieri. He fought um, Brona. He fought Thurman. He fought who else? He, he fought a, a T. Safe. Yo, he he's he, he's raking up. He's raking up. Okay. So regardless, okay, Manny Pacquiao 
he gonna make his money. Now that's a whole different story if he's trying to get twenty over there and Bob Aaron is trying to um shortchange him. But knowing that Manny Pacquiao brings in numbers, uh, I'm pretty sure that this man is not gonna try to shortchange Manny Pacquiao. Okay, because right now they got nobody for Bud Crawford. Simple as that. Okay, so if I hear that Manny Pacquiao decides to fight Bud Crawford and Bud Crawford, Crawford accept, and that fight is happening, and this fight over here with Spence and Manny Pacquiao on the same side of the street didn't did not happen, okay, that's all I have. That's all the answers I got. That's all the answers I got. So, please. I'm smelling rubbish on one side, and that's Errol Spence and Derek James' side. Because I see as time gets closer and closer, they're getting more humble with their mouth. Okay? In the beginning, Spence, yeah, I'm, I'm back. I know they wish I was, I didn't come back and all this stuff, and I don't want no tune-up. Yeah, he was showing a lot of ambition there. Then he was showing a lot of ambition in the gym, showing his abs off. Then he showed a lot of ambition in the club. You know what I'm saying? So come, so come on now. Yeah, that accident shit is done with. You see him hitting the bag. Yeah? You see him hitting the bag, the mitts. Only thing we don't see is the sparring. But Derek James knows his fighter. And if he knows his fighter, he's gonna keep him away from Bud Crawford, Manny Pacquiao, and I'm not even sure about Danny Garcia. The way I'm seeing things. Shit. He might just have to fight his IBF um, interim title. But guess what? Errol Spence said if the money's right, he's he's there. He's there. So this is what I'm saying. If the money's right with Errol, um, Manny Pacquiao, um, and they give you the money that you want to fight Bud Crawford, I don't see no reason why you're not fighting one of those two guys. Okay, since it's the money. All right, it's not unification. Okay, it's all about numbers with Derrick James and all this shit. I don't care about that. I care about unification. Shit. 